Hey, what's going on everybody? My name's Darby Weiss. This is the Iron Emporium. If you are new here, welcome. If you're new, welcome back. Or if you're back after this long hiatus I was on. Anyway, I did a video a couple days ago talking about why that was, why that hiatus was the way it was, and why I'm filming this in the cab of my truck. Um, but anyway, I'm excited to be back and I'm, I'm thrilled to have this platform to get to do this on. So thank you all so much. If you don't mind, hit subscribe down below after after you've watched the video. So maybe it's actually something that you like. If it is, great. If not, hey, whatever. There's always something for somebody. All right. Anyway, let's jump right into the show today, or rather into the video, because I don't really do full-length shows anymore, unfortunately. Anyway, more of a short format. I want to try and keep these videos between five and seven minutes long, just so you guys know what's going on. All right. Today. All right. I just left the gym. I did not want to go today. I just not feeling it got there this morning and you know once i got into it i got i got my rhythm i got going i want to talk about that battle inside all right that battle inside yourself so often so often we like wake up in the mornings or we you know get ready to do whatever it is we're going to go do or we you know are getting ready to go to our job maybe we'll work the night shift right i've been there done that and so often we fight with ourselves. We fight, we fight ourselves because we don't want to do something, right? We, whether it be, you know, go to the gym or go to work or, or just get up in the mornings. We just don't want to do what it is we have to do. And that's okay. That's okay. But every day is going to be a battle with yourself. If you have that mentality, if you have that mindset, that every day is going to be a battle, that every day is going to be a fight, that every day is going to be a struggle. It doesn't need to be a struggle, guys. It doesn't need to be a struggle ever. All you need to do is get up, get after it, go out there, do something. Explode in your life. Explode in your world. Do something new. Experience something unique. And fight. Fight. Just get up and do it. Just get up and get after it. Just get up and do something. I talk about this all the time, right? so often we get bogged down by life I'm guilty of this too I took a long hiatus from my videos just because I was so bogged down with life and that's okay guys it's okay to be bogged down by life it's okay to have other things going on in your world it's not okay to give up it's not okay to kick your feet up and say eh, I'll do it tomorrow do it today do it today Stop waiting. Stop waiting for tomorrow to come. Because so often, and I, I hate to get so negative and so dark, but so often we say we're going to do something tomorrow, and tomorrow never comes. And that's the worst case scenario. Best case scenario is tomorrow comes and you don't do it anyway. Because you gave up today. Don't give up on yourself today. Don't give up on your goals, on your dreams, on your passions. I was talking to my mom a few weeks back. Kind of right as Nicole and I were getting ready to, to finish up selling the house. I was talking to my mom. We were talking about a lady that gave up on her goal. She was this close. She was this close. She gave up. Don't be that. Don't do that. Okay, here's the thing. You can make a commitment to yourself, right? You can commit to yourself, I'm going to do, okay, let's just say this. I'm going to go to the gym every day or I'm going to work out every day for 30 days, right? 30 days is a long time. Let me tell you what, 30 days is a long fucking time. It's a long time to do anything. But if you make that commitment to yourself, I'm going to go work out or I'm going to, I'm going to go to the gym or whatever for 30 days, I'm going to go every day day for 30 days whether you work out super hard or you don't work out that hard and you just kind of you know I'm gonna keep moving basically is what I'm saying I'm gonna keep moving for 30 days what happens when you get to day 27 and you quit you get to day 28 and you quit damn that's a letdown that's a letdown you let yourself down you don't let me down I don't give a shit you probably didn't let your significant other down because they honestly probably don't care. 
But man, do you let yourself down. Man, is that a, is that a heartbreaker for you? So you miss day 27. Then you miss day 28. Day 29 comes. I'll go later. I'll work out later. Day 30 comes. And you didn't do it. You didn't make it. You didn't do all 30 days. That's okay. That's okay. Go back. Go back. Make up day 27, day 28, day 29, and day 30. Make those days up anyway. Stop just giving up. Stop giving up on yourself. Day 28 can come and you could have skipped. Day 29 can come and you can have skipped. Day 30 can come and you can have skipped. As long as when 31 comes, you go back and you finish 27, 28, 29, and 30. As long as you finish those days, just because you didn't do it in the first shot doesn't mean you can't finish. There's always an opportunity to finish your goal. Make today the day that you go back and you finish that goal. Finish strong, friends. Finish strong. Don't let weakness take hold. Don't let weakness be your friend. Because guess what? Weakness will stab you in the back and will leave you bleeding on the sidewalk. But strength and perseverance will pull you through. Get out there. Get motivated, everybody. I'm really tired of seeing weakness all the time. I'm really tired of it. If it's your day 27 and you feel like skipping, take the day off. Tomorrow, on day 28, go back. I don't mean to get so heated, but sometimes these things get me fired up. And I really am disappointed when people just give up on themselves. Don't give up on yourself. Because everybody around you then will start giving up on you too. Thank you guys so much. I hope this motivates somebody out there. I hope that somebody takes that day 27 and takes a break. But I hope when day 28 comes, you get back at it. And when day 29 comes, you stay at it. And when day 30's there, you can say you met your goal. Take a minute today to set a goal. Commit to that goal. And then achieve that goal. Thank you guys so much. If you like this video, hit subscribe down below. If you want to leave me a comment, leave me a comment. Sorry I'm in the cab of my truck, but this is just what we're going to do things for a little while. Thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. Remember, stay motivated.